Okay, we're now taking a look at plotting integers on a number line. So let's start off with some integers. So earlier we talked about integers being our basic counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and of course these numbers go on. But integers also include zero and negative numbers, negative one, negative two, negative three, and of course this goes on in the other direction. So those are our integers, no fractions, no uh, decimals. And for the number line, the number line is just that, it's a line. And usually we represent zero in the middle, although we certainly don't have to. And then we just kind of count off in each direction. So in the positive direction, we would say one, two, three, four, and depending on the how big our numbers are, we would want to pick our scale so that we could fit those numbers on it. So here's zero through six, we might as well go the other way, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, five, negative six. And again, I just drew this symmetric uh, so that I've got an equal number of numbers on each side, but I certainly wouldn't have to do it that way. Let's take some of those numbers that we listed. Uh, let's say negative two, zero is always a good one. And let's say three and five. Let's say I wanted to plot those numbers on my number line. Uh, what I want to do is I want to put a dot right above or right on the number line next to that number. So for example, negative two, I would put a dot right above our negative two. Zero, right above the zero, three, and five. So we have plotted all four of those numbers. Now for our problem here, we're given some other numbers, and as soon as I look at this, I realize that they've given me a rather large one to plot. So since I get to make my own number line, and I know I have to go all the way up to 12, I'm going to pick a scale that allows me to do that a little bit easier. Uh, I'm gonna go by twos. So if that's zero, I'm gonna list two, uh, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and again in the opposite direction, negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative ten, and negative twelve. Again, I didn't have to make it the same on both sides. I just think it looks better that way. So now when it comes to plotting these, 12, I actually have 12 on my number line all the way over here because that's a positive 12. It's on the right. For the negative 2, it is to the left of 0. Right there is my negative number. And for 8, again, that's positive. So it is going to be on the right-hand side. Now, it worked out really nice because all those numbers were even, but even if I had a odd number, I could still plot it on there. I would just put it in between the even numbers where it belonged. So, for example, if I were going to plot the number 5, I would just go right in the middle of, let's say, 3. If I were going to plot the number 3, I would go right in the middle of 2 and 4. So that's plotting integers on a number line.